Well, technology for me is like fabric. It can be shaped, can be cut, uh, can be assembled into anything that we want it to be. When I was a teenager, I wanted to actually become a writer. I wanted to uh, write fiction stories. I got discouraged a little bit um, by my uh, high school teacher and started to design, started to get really passionate about design. Our big break was when we started working with Nicolas Negoponte on the One Laptop Per Child. Design is essentially a humanistic uh, practice. The goal there is, is to create experiences that are uh, a lot more magical. There's methods of machining materials which uh, were originally developed for much smaller products. Materials and their textures also invite touch. And beyond touch, sometimes there is functionality. I think that technology should happen in the background. You know, my door knows when to unlock itself because I'm approaching it. I'm very interested in transformation. How a room can expand in size because suddenly the staircase disappears. For me, this is very much a California house in the sense that it's open to nature. On one side, you have the ocean, and on, on the other, um, you have something that is a little bit akin to a Northern California forest. To have the environment permeate um, the space in this way is, um, was, was really important to me as well. The objects and the art in the house are all very personal. I mean, we do support a lot of um, contemporary artists. Um, but we also have objects that come from travels, objects that come from nature walks and adventures. More recently, we've acquired more pieces that have to do with political statements, such as peace marchers in the 70s, such as the Berlin Wall. Every piece has a very personal significance. I think for me, a home is a place where you want to access the important things with the least amount of effort. So this house tries to do that. Rather than uh, distract us from, um, from the interactions and the important moments of life.